Well, Davos 2024 is also turning out to be a battle for Indian states vying with each other to try and attract investors, both global and domestic. We heard from the Telangana Chief Minister yesterday, and joining me now to talk about Tamil Nadu's uh, pitch to investors is the industry's minister. Thank you very much for joining us here on CNBC TV 18. As I said, uh, it's a race between Indian states, not just on the promenade, but also to try and draw not, in investors. Not for, <laughs> not, not for Tamil Nadu, though. We compete with other countries and not states. That's what we're made <laughs> <made. laughs> I think right, because we are far ahead of other states by in, any in, uh, in the indices that you take. Um, we also um, have a plethora of uh, sectors that we draw investors into. It's not just a particular bit of life sciences or a particular bit of uh, IT. Uh, that, that's, a subtle, that's a subtle <laughs> dig at Telangana. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you, you're coming off uh, the uh, investor summit that you just held in the start of uh, 2024. Mm. Uh, you're trying to get more manufacturing investors yeah. to come on board. You're trying to get domestic as well as global investors to come on board. Give me a sense of, uh, you know, the meetings that have happened so far, where you believe there is interest, where is the interest coming in from? Uh, do you hope to close uh, some agreements before you leave Davos? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to tell you about the MOUs that, that, that might be signed here because we, we'd want to keep it uh, low key till we get it to the uh, Chief Minister's uh, table and then we'll talk about that. But, but in um, attracting investments, uh, Tamil Nadu has been the number one state. Uh, any investor coming into working into India has knocked on our door first, our Chief Minister's door first. So I think attracting investment hasn't been a problem. It's about the quality of investment that's come through. Uh, for us, even during the Global Investors Meet that we did now, uh, we were very choosy about who comes in and mm. what sort of jobs that, create, that are created and where those are created. See, our chief minister is very particular about the distributed growth across Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu is the most urbanized state and we have social infrastructure everywhere, right? So we don't want cluster industries in Chennai or Coimbatore or just, just few clusters, you know, Kanchipuram is a big cluster. But we want to take this towards, uh, towards the south, mm. towards the Delta region possibly. So that's what the Chief Minister is more worried about, not the amount of investment, it's the quality of investment, kind of jobs that it's going to create, and where these investments are going to go. Through. Okay, so a more even distribution yes. of jobs as well as investments. And more for women, uh, particularly. I, I was going to point that out, but I'll get to that in just <laughs> a second. But you know, uh, let's be realistic. You are mowing not just against Telangana, but also Gujarat, Maharashtra, and Gujarat not here in Davos, Maharashtra is right next to where you uh, are. Uh, you know, so, so what is going to be the competitive competitive edge uh, for Tamil Nadu to be able to get in fresh investments as well as incremental investments but the and kind any of key focus areas well, the kind of talent that we have across sectors I mean it's unmatched in India right I'll give you just one example we have Hitachi Energy the world's largest GCC mm. R&D center in Chennai they just opened up recently 3,500 jobs uh, all research jobs uh, 500 of them PhDs and almost half of them were women so you can't find this kind of a talent pool anywhere else in India. So that's, I think, our biggest forte. And then policy continuity is something, because with any regime change, nothing happens, the investors are happy. Uh, and those who have invested have reinvested into Tamil Nadu. That's a story, isn't it? That's, that says something, isn't it? Mm. So that's the kind of reinforcement of faith that uh, investors have on Tamil Nadu. And I think that is our biggest uh, uh, card. So we can just tell the world that, Look at us, we've done this and we've done this for decades and we're not just newbies on the, on the, on the, uh, <laughs> on not, the, not new, new, new kids on the block, <laughs> not you, the you, new kids. you've been around yeah. doing this for a while. For a century, yeah. for a yeah. century. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is a century old story. We've had uh, Coimbatore's pump industry, centuries old, the textile industry, centuries old, uh, the Madurai bus industry is about 50, 60 years old, um, no, 70. So, you know, this Tamil Nadu is a new, not a new state, and we've done this for the longest time. We've been shy. We haven't told anybody, uh, the world, that uh, we are what we are, and this time we intend to do that. So, so that's that's the big difference, is it? You're not going to talk about what you're doing. <laughs> no, we are going to talk about what we've done, and what we are going to do further, because mm. uh, this is the one state which can understand where this, uh, what the investors want, right? Mm. Uh, the, the the guidance bureau that we have, uh, it's the more, it's the best. Uh, investment promotion agency in India, the oldest, it's been awarded by the UN. And when investors come in, we can tell them exactly what they want and we can give them facts that they can use uh, uh, while they go to their board for their pitch. So what are investors telling you in terms of what their asks are of the government? I mean, obviously, faster approvals and all of that, it's hygiene stuff. But specific asks that they have? The incentives, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Especially of course, with, <laughs> especially with the 
with, with a kind of competition that you're talking about. Uh, there are a lot of states which are uh, a, a bit on the desperate side, uh, they, I would say. I'm keeping it low. Uh, but I think throwing away incentives is not a good idea. And mm. Tamil Nadu, the Tamil Nadu government, you've got to be very careful about how it spends its uh, the people's money. And, and I think some of them are a bit too aggressive, um, I wouldn't call it aggressive, a bit too, uh, they give in to the investors' uh, mm. demand. Mm. Um, but I think we know exactly what we want and uh, we do uh, up the ante when, uh, when there's that one particular uh, sector that we need to crack. So what is that one particular sector <laughs> that you want to crack where you will be willing, where you will be willing to slug it out in terms of offering a you know, better deal to it, investors? They give you one, um, life sciences of course, that's one that, that I really want to crack. To, uh, to, to try and draw that away from Telangana? <laughs> No, I see. I'll tell you what. We don't want to draw anything away from any state. As long as this investment stays in India, we're absolutely happy. That's what the chief minister said. We just want to be the driving force, the, the, the manufacturing powers of India. We are already. Mm -hmm. And we want to be the, we just want to add value to India, this, the growth story of India. This is India's decade. This so, is going to be our century too. And Tamil Nadu is going to drive that. Uh, yes, a, a century and a decade for India driven by the power of its states. And that's yes. how it should be. Yes. Uh, but, you know, life sciences, if that's going to be the big focus area, what are you going to do? to draw in investments there. Have you been speaking with companies yeah. here in Davos and otherwise? <laughs> I can't tell you which companies, but uh, yes, uh, I'm, I am giving it a big push. Uh, again, life sciences and uh, EV is a new sector uh, which we've already uh, captured. Uh, we are the EV capital of India now. 70% of all two-wheelers and 40% of all four-wheelers, four -wheel EV, EV, EV vehicles are uh, manufactured in Tamil Nadu already. And we're pushing that. We've got Winfast uh, off uh, That's another big investment. We're going to get into cell manufacturing, battery, battery manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So all that is good. So it's not just life sciences. There's a few other uh, emerging sectors again. AI, generative AI, that's um, again research into that. That's something which we are interested in. Uh, we are also interested in bringing in some quantum computers. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, our IT minister has also been talking about that. He's been uh, pushing that uh, also. And I think quantum computing is something which uh, I'm personally also interested in. You know, I was going to ask you that because what we have seen is that at the central government end, along with state governments, of course, to try and draw in investments uh, as part of the semiconductor plan and the yes. semiconductor mission. Yes. Is that something that you're looking at? Is that yes. something that you're going to actively pursue? Yes, we are working very closely with the union government also on this, and uh, the government is the union is also doing a lot of things uh, as far as the semiconductor space is concerned. Uh, we might add uh, a few extra miles to the uh, already available space. So I think, yeah, the, and you're going to hear something uh, good very soon. So. On the semiconductor, on the semiconductor side? side, yeah. Is, 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 is I don't know. I, didn't, I, I just said you were soon. I don't know. I didn't tell you when. Okay, you did tell me when, but that's going to be for your state, an investment being made in your state on the looks development like, side or like, on the manufacturing looks side. Looks like it. Um, also, it looks like a good bet. So, I think uh, something might come in that. Day. On the manufacturing side or the design side? <laughs> Both. Both. Yeah. Okay, by when? You said you don't I don't say when. Uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. A couple good. of weeks? I'll a couple of no, months? No, it's looking good. We wouldn't want to jump the gun. Uh, but it's looking good. Because they do understand that this is the state which can deliver uh, on talent, on incentives, and on, on the infrastructure that's needed to carry that. And the social infrastructure needed to ca carry such talents to work in. So. Is it a U.S. company? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that with folk states around me. <laughs> right here in Dallas. So what are going to be the priorities for 2024? to continue to uh, push the growth momentum, to continue to drive investments, both domestic and global. See, our chief minister has this uh, Dravidian model of governance, right? It's not a political statement. It's a, it's a model of governance. It's a way of life. And this is all about inclusive governance, right? It's about inclusive uh, growth uh, for everybody, uh, especially for rural women, because he wants to invigorate the local economy, the rural economy. That way, his dream of that $1 trillion economy that he's been uh, talking about, in the, and he's already released a, uh, a road map to that also during the gym. So our chief minister's goal of that $1 trillion economy, uh, that is key and we are all working towards that. And for that, the local economy of every village needs to grow. So we need to get uh, jobs to the ground. Uh, on the manufacturing side, and I want to talk about uh, uh, what has worked, you think, uh, to get as many women as part of the labor force and specifically in manufacturing, the highest in the country. What's worked to your mind? What's worked, it's the, again, it's the Dravidian model of educating everyone, getting, taking education to everyone, making sure that everybody, get, everybody gets access to education. Uh, when women way back uh, uh, a century ago were not even allowed to study and we made the first, we took the first step, the Justice Party took the first step, the DMK came and the DK came and we, we made sure that every education was taken to the masses, especially women. We made sure that women doesn't get
get married at, uh, at an early age. The, the woman doesn't get married at an early age, girls actually. And then we made sure they got equal opportunity. Even today, we make sure that girls who go on from, uh, from college, school to college, they get a uh, thousand rupees every single month. Uh, that's the Pudumai uh, Pen Thittam, that's, uh, that's a scheme that the Chief Minister launched. Every single month, they get paid that. And we also respect the work that's being done at the home by the homemaker. Mm. Right? We respect that and we tell them that we respect the work that you do. You are creating our society. So we give them, we pay them 1,000 rupees every month. And this has, has made sure that has has given that uh, basically empowered our women. And I think that they keep talking about how their daughters who need to do what they had, they couldn't do. And I'd be extremely, extremely proud of that. And that is why 43% of all women working in India are from Tamil Nadu. <laughs> <laughs> I like the passion with which you yeah. said that. And, and I, I, I do believe that, uh, you know, it is an, it is a, it is an example uh, for, for us to showcase and an example for us to follow. But, yes. uh, you know, what's the target that you've set for yourself? Not just in increasing that number, but the targets that you're working towards as far as your ministry is concerned. We, we need to hit 50 for sure. We By need when? To hit 50. Um, I think we'll do that very, very quickly with the kind of uh, non-leather footwear um, workforce that we're getting in. We're getting 40, 30,000 jobs uh, in, in several sectors, especially the non-leather footwear sector. It's going to take work to the rural women, right? So I think we'll, we'll definitely hit that scale uh, uh, at least by 2030. By 2030, 50% of... Uh, yeah. Big of, task, yes. Yes. But I think global. Uh, we, we certainly hope that it is going yes. to be achieved <laughs> and uh, we wish you the very best Thank of luck you. with that. But, you know, uh, before I let you go, 2024, uh, key milestones that you hope to close? Again, semiconductors uh, that I would want to take on board. Um, an announcement on that, that'll be nice. Uh, lots of R&D jobs, that'll be nice. Um, we're going to hit, uh, since our leader took over from 21, we did 3 lakh crores of investment till uh, before the gym, and we did about 6.64 after that. So we're hitting the million, uh, uh, a 10 lakh crore mark. Uh, we want to cross that very soon, that probably this, this month or next month, uh, possibly, before our bigger budget. Um, but yeah, what I would really want to see um, is the high-end jobs coming through. Um, semiconductors, yes. That's my dream thing. High-end jobs, <laughs> semiconductor <laughs> announcement. You heard it first here on CNBC TV 18. And you promised that once you're ready to reveal, you are going to break the news uh, right on here. CNBC TV 18 as well. <laughs> right <here. laughs> All right. Done, yeah. Always a pleasure. Many thanks for joining Thank us. You. We wish you the very best of luck. And thanks uh, for taking our time to speak with us here in it's Davos. The conversations will continue. There's plenty more. Uh, stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. We're back in a moment.